In this video, we are comparing the Doji V20 with the Umi Digi Bison GT2 Pro to find out which one is the best rugged smartphone for your daily use. But before we start, make sure to watch the video till the end and subscribe to our channel to learn more about quality survival gear for your outdoor adventure. Now, without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Let's take a look at these two phones and then compare the two to see which one comes on top. First, let's take a look at the Doji V20. The Doji V20 was released on 21st of February 2022 with a massive discount promo. With the body of almost an armored truck, the smartphone is designed to survive impacts and stands out as a really great pick for clumsy people like me. The phone is one of the best choices for kids and teenagers, keeping in mind the price and how the microprocessor chip works in running games. The camera is also great in its price range, which makes it a good option for all of you selfie lovers out there. Now let's look at the pros and cons. First the pros. The Doji V20 has some exceptional features such as its stunning OLED display. With the screen being 6.43 inches, it is the first rugged smartphone with a high definition display with an FHD plus resolution. This basically means it gives you a more vivid and honed color experience which is best suited for gaming or maybe some videos and provides you with more wide viewing angles. The phone can also be seen with a 20MP night vision camera. So if you are thinking of going out camping, you do not need any special equipment for taking photos at night. Also, it is great for taking pictures where there is less or no light. It has a 64MP front camera, so it is a quality phone for people at an affordable price who like to take a lot of pictures. Tired of your phone dying while you are out enjoying yourself with your friends? Well, the Doji V20 has a 600mAh battery with fast charging so you never have to worry about your battery anymore. In addition to that, it can charge at 33 watts, which takes about 2 hours, making it more time efficient than most phones. So for people like me who hang out a lot, this is the perfect match. Along with that, the new Android 11 installed in Doji V20 also has a cleaner and minimalistic look, increasing its visual appeal to the user. I personally like to show off my phone's visual appearance to people, so that is a thing I feel suits me. However, the Doji V20 also comes with its cons. With so many new added features to the solid and rugged smartphone, it definitely takes a toll on its overall weight up to 296 grams. Weight is obviously something people take into consideration, and with it being over 250 grams, it is definitely a big no for me and I believe for many users. Furthermore, the Doji V20 comes with a flap that covers the Type-C charging port from water or dust. As beneficial as it may sound, for some users it can be a nuisance. You come home after a hectic day, and while you are about to put your phone on charging, you have to put in an additional effort to remove the flap and then plug in the charging cable. As small a task as it may sound, it has its own psychological effect and can feel annoying to the user. Another thing that I personally disliked the most in the Doji V20 is it is limited to Widevine L3, which in easier words means is that you cannot watch Netflix or any sort of streaming service in more than 480p and obviously that is a big setback because the resolution is a big factor which people think about before buying a smartphone unless you have a 60 inch LED at home. Now let's look at the bottom line. So to summarize, the Doji V20, although it has its cons, it is one of the strongest phones with a good battery running time and a more optimized system with a quality camera. So in short, you get the value that you paid for. Now let's take a look at the Umi Digi Bison GT2 Pro. The Umi Digi Bison GT2 Pro is the brand's first smartphone with 5G and was released on January 19th, 2022. Just like the Doji V20, the Umi Digi Bison GT2 Pro is a strong and durable smartphone made for people who like to be outdoors or in a tough environment frequently. It is one of the best rugged smartphones out there on the market for the price and offers a wide range of benefits for users including durability, top of the line specs, and overall aesthetics. Now let's look at the pros and cons. First, the pros. The Umi Digi Bison GT2 Pro is not only strong, but also waterproof, 
scratch, and dust resistant, which is best suited for people like me who almost drop their phone once a day. The phone can survive underwater for almost 30 minutes at up to a depth of 1.5 meters. It is a phone designed to maintain its integrity in almost any situation. It also has a decent image quality with a 64 MP camera and there is also an ultra wide option with a 117 degrees field of view. So if you are learning photography and currently do not have a professional camera, this can be used as an alternative to that. Not only that, but it also provides night vision mode along with face beautification. Ever been in a situation where you called someone but they could not hear you properly because someone in your house was arguing with each other? Well with the Umi Digi Bison GT2 Pro, there is a dedicated mic with inbuilt noise cancellation for the same purpose. So now if you are in a crowd or there is traffic around you, people can still hear you clearly. If you are a mobile gamer, then this phone is clearly the better choice for you. The combination of its CPU and GPU provides better FPS and a smooth gaming experience, with its CPU and GPU both being one of the best out there. Now let's talk about the cons of the Umi Digi Bison GT2 Pro. Although the Umi Digi Bison GT2 Pro has a battery of 6150mAh, its fast charging is only 18 watts, which makes it relatively slow to get fully charged. The smartphone also does not support wireless charging, meaning once your phone actually needs to be charged, it's going to take a while. In addition to that, it is a bulky phone, so it can sometimes be hard to fit in the pocket. It also weighs about 280 grams, which is a lot for a smartphone. It could also be a hassle for phone users with smaller hands to use the phone and finding a case might be hard, if not impossible, for this phone. So what's the bottom line? To summarize, the Umi Digi Bison GT2 Pro is a great phone in its price range with a good camera and strong body. Its display is not the best, however it is great if we talk about it in its current budget. Now let's see how these rugged smartphones do when we compare them side by side. Screen Size Now more than ever, screen size is an important consideration to phone users. The Bison sits at a 6.5 inch screen while the Doji is just shy at 6.44 inches, making the Bison the winner in the screen size department. RAM Next up is a comparison of the RAM of each phone. This category is easy, however both phones have exactly the same 8GB LPDDR4X RAM ending up in a tie. CPU The Bison features the Dimensity 900, which clearly outperforms the Dimensity 700 in the Doji in both CPU and gaming performance and overall battery life, giving this win to the Bison as well. SIM slots. Both the Umi Digi and Doji's phones feature a dual nano SIM slot with standby, making this round a tie again. Storage capacity. Another important aspect of modern phones is their storage capacity. Users who want to store photos, videos, or download games are always on the lookout for more space. Both the Bison and the Doji feature a whopping 256 gigabytes of storage, so luckily, no matter which phone they choose from the two, they will be getting a ton of storage. Extra features. GPU. Bison is the winner here. Gamers might be interested in what type of GPU each of these phones has to offer. Bison is the better option when it comes to games with outstanding FPS with its ARM Mali G68 outperforming the ARM Mali G57 MC2 of Doji V20, giving it a superior ability to provide high quality graphics. Rear Camera Resolution Bison wins this. Both the rear camera are 64MP, however, the Bison has more added features such as field of view settings, which the Doji V20 does not. Photographers will want to focus on the Bison over the Doji in this case. Waterproofing and dust resistant. 
This is a tie. Both are IP68 certified waterproof and dustproof ratings, as well as have IP69K rating, which completely protects from dust and debris, as well as protects against high pressure and high temperature liquids up close. No matter which phone you decide to go with, you can rest assured that you are getting a phone meant to handle tough conditions. Drop proofing. Duji wins this. Duji has a military grade carbon fiber finish, drop proof from 1.5 meter onto concrete, while Bison is equipped with industrial rubber only, making Duji the better contender in this round. Price. Bison just barely wins this one. Price oftentimes is the deciding factor in phone choice. The Bison is the cheaper option, priced at $350. The Duji, on the other hand, is priced slightly higher at $399. If price is your only concern, then the Bison is the right phone for you. Check the description for links. Screen resolution. This is a tie. Both devices have the same screen resolution, which is 1080 by 2400 pixels, making this another tie for our comparison. Screen protection. Another tie, the screens from each phone are made from Corning Gorilla Glass, which protects from scratches and drops from a height of 1.8 meters. Whether you drop your phone once a day or 50 times, these phones can handle the pressure. Weight. Bison wins by just a tiny bit. The Duji weighs 296 grams, which is 16 grams more than Bison's 280 grams. While the difference is relatively small, for those who are concerned about having a lighter phone, the Bison is the choice for you. Warranty. This is a tie. Both devices purchased from an authorized reseller or Doogee.com have a 12-month warranty from the date of purchase. Runtime. Bison wins this. The Bison has a bigger battery, hence more running time, which is 3-4 to four days, compared to Doogee, 2-3 to three days. Bottom line. Conclusively, I feel like both the phones give value in the price range they provide. However, if I have to pick one, I would choose the Umi Digi Bison GT2 Pro since it's more suited to my needs because I am a person who is into taking more photos and hanging out a lot. So with its camera being the better one as well, as it having more running time than the Doji and a greater battery capacity, it is more perfectly suited to my needs. I believe both the phones are at the same level, with both of them better in some aspects than the other, but generally at the same level. If you drop your phone frequently, the Duji V20 is the better option for you since it has military grade carbon fiber which can resist drops and shocks more than the Umi Digi Bison GT2 Pro. If you are more into gaming, the Umi Digi Bison GT2 Pro is a better option since it has a better CPU as well as a GPU. However, if you are not into the phone specifications and just want a phone, the Umi Digi Bison GT2 Pro is better since it is cheaper. If you are interested in buying either of these, click the links in the description. Subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss more videos of awesome survival gear and much more. Check out this playlist of our survival gear reviews and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.